We're back, ladies and gents, here with the Hot Sun Speedfire. We're going to do a little follow up, maybe with some first shots today. And I wanted to go over uh, every little bit of this gun so you guys can have a better idea of what you're getting into uh, before you purchase it. I'm take you around here. I'm going to start from the back, but I'm going to bring you up close here. I want to cover a few things. All right, starting from the back, I kind of mentioned it in my first video. Um, this butt plate here, or this butt pad, is not really much of a pad. There's no padding, as you can see. It's almost the same material. I guess it's super thick rubber, but there's no no real give on the back side back there. As we move up this cheek riser here, not super high, and you might need it because your scope is going to be mounted a little bit higher. It'd be nice if this was adjustable, but I understand this is kind of more entry level, so you're not going to get all those features. It would be nice to be a little higher, but not too bad as it sits. Next thing we have, moving on up. If you look at this, what I notice, this has a lot of play in it. Look at that. Seems pretty cheap, this little safety. I can kind of pull it out, push it in a little bit. Just kind of moves around, you can hear that there. Not a big fan of that. No real problems with the trigger yet. I've shot it actually maybe like 10 shots so far. Uh, what else do we have? The rail. If you look at the rail and the sights, it's sitting pretty high. And as you know, if you want to be a little bit more accurate, you want to have your scope sitting kind of lower to the barrel. This huge mechanism here doesn't allow for that. So um, I haven't set up the scope. I don't know if I will. I'm going to shoot with open sights today. And I don't know if I'm going to keep this gun after this. I'm going to give it, uh, give it a shot. But shot those shots at about 20 yards and that was not very good at all I'm not sure what's going on with the gun um, I'm shooting open sights but shouldn't be that bad and could be the pellets but I don't know it shouldn't be still shouldn't be that far off from 20 yards so we're shooting the uh, piranhas 10 and a half grains uh, crossman premieres and I'll give you a little angle from this side here So the magazine is in there. The cocking force is not that bad. Not nearly as bad as uh, my Gamo Magnum. Gamo Swarm Magnum. I'd say it's in the 30s somewhere. Mid 30s uh, for foot pounds. Uh, well, not foot pounds. But you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. This is an automatic safety, so every time you, you cock it, you got to bring it back here. So as you can see, well, as you can hear, it, it has pretty good force, but it has some kind of cling to it. Like every time you shoot, there's a little cling, cling. 
somewhere in the barrel something's happening. Not used to that with the uh, air guns. But uh, overall, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's not, not my favorite, especially compared to the Gamo. Um, another thought about this was this mechanism, it's pretty robust. And that's good, good and all, but I think it's just too big. The Gamma one is, sits closer to the barrel, and uh, I think I like it a little bit better. Seems a little bit more flimsy on the Gamma, but I've never had any problems with it. Um, what else do we have? Oh, this magazine here. As I was loading it up, it feels like the spring just kind of it got out of its groove or something, and I actually opened it up, I took the screw out, and it's just a tiny little spring that, that um, keeps this, keeps tension on this little dial here where you feed the pellets, and it was out of place. So the second time I loaded it, uh, the spring came out, so. Um, this is my first Hatsan gun, and I don't know too much, because it is my first about Hatsan, but I've heard good things could just be this one I'm not sure but not as you can see not very accurate from 20 yards I am shooting open sights but shouldn't be much difference um, this doesn't seem as good as the gamo the magazine here and overall I thought it was gonna do a little bit better um, these are the only pellets I shot because this is my only 177 gun right now and uh, I didn't want to buy a bunch of pellets to test this if um, I just kind of wanted to do testing with one pellet to see if I wanted to keep it and then do some additional testing with pellets but I don't know I might might take it back anyways thanks for watching leave a comment uh, down below and uh, that's it